ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a breakout game with Visual Studio, aka Visual Basic, using the Visual Basic language. So what we're going to create is this game here, and I got a full game running so you guys can see what it's going to look like. So what's going to happen is the player moves the paddle around and can launch the ball, and it's kind of like Pong where the ball's going to go around and hit different blocks and the objective is to break all the blocks. And obviously the levels can get harder as we move on, but the idea is to get a basis of the programming language in Visual Basic and Visual Studio and get a good understanding of programming concepts so when we jump into Unity the programming part won't be such a hard concept. Alright, so before we even jump into any programming or doing anything with the, the Visual Basic, what we need to do is grab some of the clips that you saw in the game. So we need a place to store our clips. So what you should do is create a folder on your desktop. If you don't know how to make a desktop folder, just go into right click, new, folder. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. All right, if you want some, some good buttons, what I did was go into Google and just Google some buttons and under images, you get a lot. So we want them to be PNG. You can look through this, got a nice wide selection. I've already picked out a few. You're going to need one for the paddle, one for the block, and then one for the ball. So make sure you have one of each. Um, I suggest a PNG because it has the transparent background. If you don't do that, then all of your objects are going to have some type of background color and it's not going to look as good. So make sure they're PNGs with clear backgrounds. To actually save a file, for example, say you wanted this as your ball, you'd right click, save picture, and then navigate to your folder. So you might have to click on the desktop and then your folder should be located there. Double click on your folder and then name it down here. Make sure you leave the .png file extension and then you can name your file. Click Save. All right, I'm not going to do that because I already have my three objects, but you can do that for each one. All right, when you're done with that, as we go through these uh, video tutorials, feel free to pause and, and play and rewind and, and watch what you need to watch to, to get caught up. Um, so I might go a little fast for you. Um, just pause the video, do what you got to do, and then resume. So now we'll go ahead and create our project. So we're just going to open up Visual, Visual Studio or Visual Basic. Click on New Project. Should open up your new project wizard here. If these windows look a little different, that's because I'm using Windows 10 instead of the Windows 7. Uh, so the bases should be the same, but some of these windows might be a little different. All right, make sure you're on Windows Form application. Um, you're going to want to browse to your project folder. So I'm going to click Browse, go to the desktop, and select your folder right here. Select Folder. And we're going to name this Breakout. Give it a minute or two to, to get set up. It's going to create the project for us. And there we are. Okay, so we're going to want to create a basis for our game here. So we're going to go ahead and extend the form out a little bit. You get to pick the size here, not a big deal. Um, before we do too much, we will just want to get the, the basis set up here, so we're not going to add anything yet. We're just going to change some properties. So I got my form clicked on here. I'm going to look in my properties panel, and you can change the background color if you want. I'm not really a fan of how these are grouped here, um, so I'm just going to change the grouping right here with the alphabetical button. It puts all my properties in alphabetical order. I think it's easier to find stuff this way. If you don't like that, you can just click up here to go back. Either way, um, all it does is relist the properties. Okay, so I'm going to go to background color, which is back color here, and I'm going to change it. Uh, give myself a nice light orange. Yeah, my paddle's orange, so let's do a light purple. There we go. All right, if I go ahead and start this, use your debugging button. At the top, it should be your green button there. It's going to launch a 
instance of your form, and we don't really have anything on it yet, so it's pretty plain Jane. But I do do want to just test it out just to show you. We do have some problems. We don't want to let the player resize the form like this. That could definitely cause some issues in the game. And additionally, we don't want to allow them to maximize. So you see these buttons up here, they can maximize the screen. Again, that's going to cause some issues with resizing. So we want to limit that. So you either hit the X, or anytime you're playtesting, you should see a red, or in your case, a blue square at the top. Just click on that, and that'll close the playtest. So again, we want to prevent that resizing. So what we want to do is go down to uh, Form Border Style. We're going to change it from Sizable to anything that's fixed. Uh, fixed Dialog, Fixed Single. Fixed Single is kind of boring. I'll change it to Fixed 3D. In my case, I'm not really going to see this too much because I'm using Windows 10. So again, if I start it, I'm using the Windows 10 background like this or border, I should say. Notice I'm not able to resize the form anymore, at least in this case, and grab the edges. I can still use the Maximize button, but we'll fix that. So again, in the Properties panel, go to Maximize Box, and set that to False. That way that's going to be disabled. So now when you run the form, it's grayed out. I don't have access to that. I can still minimize, which should be okay. If other people uh, or have other applications running, they should be able to close the game. I'm sorry, not close the game, but minimize the game and see what's up. Use other applications. So close that. Notice it says Form 1 at the top. We want to change that so it has the title of our game. So find your text property, and we'll go ahead and change that to the name of the game. And then lastly, our start position for our window. It's always going to start in a random position, normally at the top left corner. We always want it to start right in the middle of the screen because it's going to have the main attention when they, they start the application. So we want to change start position to center screen. All right, so our size is going to be different for everybody. Just because we're selecting a different size, it's not going to matter. Okay, so we got the basis. Now we want to start adding in the objects, and a couple labels for some information. So to insert your picture boxes or your objects in here, what we're going to do, I'm going to make it a little easier to find some tools here. So I'm going to minimize all these and then just open up all Windows forms. That's how I like to view it. Again, it's all in alphabetical order, nice and easy to find. So what we want to do is insert those three images that I had you guys pick out earlier. Uh, for example, here's my three in my folder, and we have our project here in our project folder as well. All right, so we're going to import those. What we want to do is double click on my project over here that has the little wrench. It's kind of the, the settings for the project. And then go to resources, and we're going to add a resource, which is going to be an image. So we're going to add existing file. Click on that and then navigate to your project folder. So it's on the desktop, so we'll click there, and this is what I called mine, ACS for Alliance City Schools, VB for Visual Basic, and then Files. Again, click on whatever yours is, and we're gonna do the same thing with all three of these, so just pick one, I'll pick the ball for right now, click Open, and voila, and we'll go ahead and add the image to your project. Go ahead and repeat that two more times, so, I like to click the little drop down menu, add existing file, navigate it right to my folder. I'm going to click block, open. Same thing for the paddle. Okay, your file names don't have to be named ball, block, and paddle. I just did that so it's easy to tell what's what. All right, once you have them in there, we can go back to design view. Notice you got your tabs up here. So this is our properties panel. Just leave that open for now. And now we're going to insert these objects with picture boxes. Okay, we have a picture box control in the toolbox. So we'll just go ahead and click and drag these out. One, two, three. And we'll go ahead and change the image. So when I click on it, notice we have the little arrow here. So I'm going to click on that. And we have an option that says choose image. So we'll go ahead and put an image in there. We want project resource file. And then click the image you want. Click OK. As soon as you do that, you might not be able to see it. That's because our size mode is normal. Go ahead and change that to stretch image. And what that'll do is fit it to the constraints of the picture box. So now it's a little skewed, 
And this is going to be the ball, so it's going to be kind of small. So I'm just going to drag this here and make it the correct size it needs to be. Do the same thing for the other two picture boxes. Choose Image, Project Resource File, Block. Again, the image is super huge, so I'm going to put it to Stretch, and that's going to make it fit within the picture box control. Do the same thing here. There we go. Yeah, I want a long, skinny paddle. There we go. All right, so we got the paddle, we got the ball, and we got the block. All right, I'm going to cut the first tutorial there. Again, if you have any questions or anything, just ask in class. If you need to rewatch any of it, just go back, rewatch it. It's not a big deal, and uh, do what you got to do. Make sure that you do save your file before you leave. We made some changes, so you see this little asterisk up here. So we got to save this. So you want to go to File. Save all. Okay, and we're good to go. See you in the next one.